So, uh, I have my engine here on the left and uh, it's all done up and sealed and ready to be swapped in. So I kind of consider this an NAT, right? You know, you've got all these vacuum hoses all over the place, oil lines stretching over the engine. You know, it it works, but it's not as pretty. And I've got an igniter, right? So I kind of consider this a G-E-T. Uh, this was designed from, you know, the block out to have a turbo, to have all the new technology, right? It's going to be cool on plug. Um, this engine has cam and crank sensors, whereas this one has a distributor. So I've got this done. This has a GE non-VVTI block. So it has the old stronger pistons and stronger rods uh, on the top is a ge vvti head um like i said it's got the cam sensor it's got provisions on the head to bolt coils down to this doesn't have that uh vvti is going to be nice going to be a little bit of extra torque um so we're going to swap this in and here we go.
All right, so I've got the engine in. I've got my fuel injectors on. These are fuel injectors that are sold by Fuel Injector Clinic. They're 1,000 cc's, and these are actually for a, they're sold as for an R34. Um, but they're 60 millimeters, uh, 16 millimeter rings on the bottom and 11 millimeter rings on the top. That's what this dodo rail takes. And what I'm doing now is I've got enough of it on such that we're getting to the stage where we can begin to start it. So one thing we need to do first is we're gonna prime the oil system. So how I've got this going on here is, uh, there's a, uh, right there, there's a, that's a 3 8 NPT fitting at the back of that oil galley. That's where I'm gonna take my oil feed from for the turbo. But what I'm gonna what I'm doing now with it is I'm pressurizing the system with this oil. So this is a little sprayer right here. So we can come in here, pump it up. Got a little bit of oil in there. I've already I've already pumped that about that much in there. And I can lock it on. That's going. We'll come over here, look at my ECU, 0.38 bar, 0.44 bar, 0 0.56, 0 0.63. So see, we're filling the oil system, right? We're pressurizing the oil system. We're almost at one bar. Oh, I just heard it go. So I've just flooded it with air now. But that's the main principle, right? I'm gonna pump another one of those in there. Oil went all the way up to 1.56 bar. So I'm gonna let the air settle back out and I'll do another quart and I won't let it get all the way to the bottom and push it back full of air. But that's how you prime this. So pump that in, then you'll be ready to start turning the engine over and let the oil pump prime itself. This is like a pre-prime. Uh, one more thing about the injectors, getting them to fit. Uh, they're, just, they're just a little bit longer than the uh, stock size injectors, which the Dodo Rail is made for, but stock size injectors are the old big style and we want the new style that we can uh, flow, flow more stuff on. So you can use, you need to use the spacers, right? So these are the spacers that come on your 2JZ, okay? But these are just standard Toyota spacers. Look, here's one that's real long, right? Uh, so go to the junkyard, and I don't remember what Toyota was off of, some kind of Camry or Corolla or something, but you want the spacer for 60 millimeter injectors that this distance, right? between my fingers, that distance is three quarters of an inch. That's what's gonna fit on your Dodo rail with some 60 millimeter injectors with your Dodo lower.
Who the hell? Okay, so I got it to do the first start. Um, there's a lot more work to do here. Some things to button up, but that was the hardest part. So the next steps are getting it to the dyno, getting it tuned, and then be ready to rock. <laughs> 